I'm going to show you how to add simple blocks to style a blog post. There's not loads you can do to style a blog post, but we are going to try our hardest. So because this is my client's site and he, this is a WordPress custom site, so it's got lots of code and all that kind of thing. There's a lot of color up here. There's a very comprehensive blog post, so I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but so it's got a, it's got a header here. It's got a border all around there and it's got different colors all over the place. So we can't do all of that, but we can do some. So the whole of this blog post is narrow. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our blog post medium width, and then we're gonna add little blocks to make our photos smaller so that we can make the top bigger. So let's do that. And we could actually put the um, put these blocks everywhere so that it's consistent, but it just depends on how you want the styling. So here's the blog post. I've done, I've done the title here and it's medium, medium width. Let me show you how to do this. So you go to edit section and then you've got the content width and it's medium. Now, if you put narrow, it means that this top bit's going to be narrow too. So I prefer to do it medium and then add blocks to make it more custom. So the image is down here and then I've put these bits in. So I've done this card here and just to give it a little bit of extra extra styling and then I've added these photos and do you see how they're narrow so I basically added a spacer and put it on the side and you can drag them as much as you want so I've just centered them this should be centered okay let's make it a nice oh this is all left aligned that's all styling so I'm going to show you at the bottom so I've just embedded a video so if you want to watch that it's just the video before this so here we have we would like to make this the same size as this. So what we would do, and I'll start from fresh, we would get one of these plus little icons and then it comes up with all of the blocks that you can use. We're gonna add three spaces. <clears throat> one, click out if you can't find the plus. Two, click out, and three. So we're gonna keep the first one that, that width, so it just gives us a bit of space in between. And what we're going to do is drag this one to the second one and make sure that that blue line, do you see how it goes really wide there? That means that you shift all of that information to the left. We don't want to do that. We want to just do just, we just want to align the spaces. So we just do that. And then we've got the two spaces evenly side by side. So now we want to put these spaces on the side of these to add padding. So again, we want to, you have to play around with it a little bit because sometimes you can't find that blue line. So at the moment, that would right align everything. We don't want to do that. So move it down. And normally if you move it across to the photo, it will just select the photo. So let go. Now we've got that one there and it looks really off center, but then we've got this other one here and we move it to the other side. Again, just selecting the photo. Now it's tiny. So what we do is adjust it. We adjust it at the same height and it's the same as the top one. So that is how you use how you use spacer blocks to style a page.